What are the chances you ever get invited to the Mike Rubin party? Zero. Zero chance ever. You don't believe this is where you can start to put in some of your athlete, like. I'm going to tell you why it's zero. Delusional no, self. No, no. It's not about delusion. Okay. It's not about like, oh, I'll never be invited. They don't even know who I am. No, it's not that. Yeah. They know exactly who I am. They know who I am. That's why I'm not getting invited. And you're not getting on the list. Dude, I get for I get in there, first of all, all like 80% of the people in there are people I've talked shit about at some point or another. <laughs> okay. Like all of them, like, there he goes. Like, Dang. Dude. Are you the black skip Bayless? A little no, bit? no, 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 no. 80% is no. a high number, I mean. Yeah. That's not great. I, here's the thing. I always I always say this. I'm like. Why are they mad? Mm -hmm. Well, you said this, that, and that. And? And I'm like, well, it might be a little true, but that, like, that's the thing. It's like, mm, I, Skip, says, yeah, Skip says stuff that are just, shock just ridiculous. Shock yeah. value. I say stuff that, I mean, look, man, you, you want to name drop? I'm name drop right here. Shaq has told me straight up, he will you can't say that. Oh, okay. And I said, am I wrong? He said, you can't say that. And I said, but am I wrong? He said, you're not wrong, but you don't have the G14 classification to say that. Ooh. Like okay. that's, and that, like, that comes from the diesel, right? Like his thing is like, you're not incorrect in what you're saying. Your assessments aren't incorrect. You're just not the messenger we're looking exactly. for. Exactly. Like, okay. and that's the problem with a lot of, I would say, at least definitely from the athlete perspective, the either there's a feeling that I don't have the, the right to uh -huh. say these things or that, uh, and I, I realize baked in within that is there's a bunch of people who don't know my background. They think I'm just a pretty face in a microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they don't know that, like, that's why the older guys kind of are usually more, because they know, like, oh, no, I mean, work here, mm -hmm. and they know who I work with, and th they, they vetted me, you know what I'm saying? But like, that's the conundrum of everybody. Even athletes now, like, that were great athletes. Yeah. The new athletes will look at them and be like, well, yo, you? shut up, you hating, like, it's just... That's well, just a part I, of the like, game. There's a difference between telling like Charles Barkley, you hating because you old and I'm making more money than you are, uh -huh. versus me, where they're like, who the hell are you? Who the hell is this a mean guy? As one, uh -huh. one uh, man, I'll tell this story right now on uh -oh. air. Why let's, not? Let's get it. Is it the first time you ever told it on uh, on air? I wish I had the bomb. Can I get the sound effect where it's? Dun, 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 dun. I feel like I deserve one of those. So just so match it up with the finger. It was trade deadline, maybe like five years ago, uh -huh. and on the show, Rachel Nichols is hosting. It's um, Scottie Pippen. Mm -hmm. It's David Fisdale, who was not friends with Michael Jordan. Who was not friends with Michael Jordan. Yeah, joined late. <laughs> the tears are welling up again. <laughs> Go ahead. It's David Fisdale, right? And it's me. You know, Fizz has been a head coach in the league and assistant coach for a long time. Scotty, you, we all know who Scotty is. And me, I worked in the front office, right? Mm -hmm. So Rachel asked a question. I don't even, to this day, I don't remember what the question was. But whatever the question was, Scotty gave his answer, which was whatever it was, it was this. And the way I see it, it's, it's got to be like this. And Fizz says, yeah, like I can't say it any better than Scotty. And he basically agrees. And it comes to me, and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm not going to go against these guys on this point. Like, it's pretty straightforward. It is what it is, right? Mm -hmm. You should have turned that into a show. But I go know, ahead. damn. But then, I, like, in the commercial break, I get on Twitter, and Patrick Beverly tweets, who is this a mean guy? He doesn't know anything. And I'm like, buddy, if you have a, why you, there's two guys right here. Mm -hmm. Why don't you say they don't know anything? You don't agree with what I said. Okay, there goes Scotty. Say Scotty don't know what he's talking about. There go Fizz. Say Fizz. You won't pick me because you don't know who I am. Mm -hmm. You don't or know. Or he feels best about his chances when he sees you in public. He saw me in public. Was it beef? It was. Was it this? Was it did it? What happened then? This is a story we want to get to. I mean, what so, happened? Who so, started it? I so I went. He was taping. Uh, there's my friend says, hey, we're taping this podcast. In this, this is All Star Weekend a couple of years later. Uh -huh. So I said, "Yeah, I'll swing through. I come through. He's in the chair. He's getting interviewed, mm -hmm. right? By like a producer. It's not even like a not like on a, air yet. It's it's yeah. It's not even like this. It's not like two two people are hosting a guest. Okay. It's literally a producer feeding lines off camera, off mic, and he's answering, right? And he sees me walk in, and he starts saying all this stuff about like what like the producer asked, what what do you think is the the biggest problem with this, the game right now?" All these media people who don't actually watch games or go to games but sit in studios talking. I'm like, mm, okay. Okay, now, direct shot. You, There's like 20 people in this room. The not-so-subliminal. So I'm okay. like, 
oh, you know what, man? They're doing their thing. Be professional. Let them finish their thing. And then when it's done, we'll have a conversation. Uh -huh. So the whole, every answer he has is like either ridiculous, just ridiculous. Like, uh, what's the toughest challenge? Like, who's the toughest person to guard? No one's hard to guard. Like, what about LeBron? LeBron's not hard to guard. I'm like, okay, dude. Like, oh, you're really tough. Ooh, it's not hard to guard anybody. Like it would be like me asking you, like, yo, who's uh -huh. someone that you worried about coming across the middle? Nobody. Like, nobody. Like, okay, but we know that's not a real answer. Because if it was, you would just go do the same thing against everybody, but you don't. But you don't. You don't, right? right? Okay. I but get again, that. It's either these kind of ridiculous answers or like stuff that felt like really veiled shots. Uh-huh. So at the end of it, over, all right, everyone great, da da da. He starts dapping people up, like, because he's about to wait on out. My friend says, hey, Pat, you know what I mean, right? And he mumbles something. Now, did your friend know that it was potential no, beef? No, my friend did not know. Okay. And I said, I'm sorry, did you say unfortunately or did you say yeah or, so, or you know, yeah. Or, or or I don't think so. Or so you were like, it say was, it with your it chest, was, Pat, it man. Was, it was, no, but I really didn't. He, he mumbled it. So I was okay. like. It sounded like unfortunately, but it also could have sounded like something like, I don't think so, or something like that, the way he mumbled it. And he says a little louder, unfortunately. And so, you know, me, I'm I got I got that Gilbert Arenas crazy in me, so I just laugh. I laugh. And I look around and I say, Why is it so unfortunate to know who I am? And he says, I just feel like you be saying things. And then I said, What did I say? Well, I can't think. Mind you, this whole time he's not making eye contact. Down, it's up, it's around, to the left, or whatever. Mm -hmm. What do I say? Well, I can't think of anything right now. And then he walks out. And, and that was it. That was it. But y'all like, cool now? I don't know. I don't, I don't give that a was the time y'all interacted? Last, last time I saw him in person, yeah. Now it's Pat just, Bev is a member of the media, man. We got we to gotta get y'all on the show together. We got to talk this out right here on Journey. I don't need to talk shit out. Life is great. 